Hey everybody, Jason Ballas with OutdoorProductReview.com. Welcome back. We're continuing on with the 2011 bow review. It's a beautiful Colorado morning out here. It snowed last night, as you could see. Um, definitely gorgeous, not too cold. And, uh, you know, this is the kind of hunting condition that we're going to be in if we're out there hunting with our bow. So today we're going to be covering in the 2011 bow review the new Carnage from Bear Archery. Now, Bear's worked with us for the last few years, and uh, they've just done nothing but increase the the quality of their bows that they've had in the last few years, and the carnage isn't any exception. Um, let's go ahead and cover some of the bow. All right, you see on the bow here, it has two string suppressor systems, just like the, uh, the TAC did last year. Um, these ones are a little bit more of it, a, a curved angle, and I think it's because the limbs are a little shorter than, the, than last year's bow. They have the cable roller system incorporated in this bow, uh, which makes it nice because you don't put any torque on the cable from it sliding up and down the, uh, the cable guard. All right, their grip, pretty much the same grip. It's perfect grip. It's a medium grip. It's not too fat, not too narrow. It's just perfect and it fits right on the meat of your, your, your hand right there and it really feels good when you hold it. All right, they have the great, you know, camouflage pattern that they always do. It says carnage right here on the bow. All right, like I, with all the other bows, I set it up with just the normal little rest we're using here. Of course, we know that every bow in the review is, is tested at 29 inch draw with 70 pounds being the weight. And we're shooting at 408 grain Victory Armor Pearson Arrow. And Victory is one of our sponsors again this year. And I'd really like to appreciate, you know, thank them a lot for being on board with us again. That VAP is just phenomenal. Yesterday we shot in the first leg of the Colorado Bow Hunter Championship. And uh, I used the VAP, which is a really thin shaft but I, I did pretty good. I came in fifth, so we got two more legs and hopefully we're gonna work our way up to the championship, uh, the, the ultimate championship with it. But VAP's been with me along the way and they've done a great job using my True Fire release. True Fire's another one of our sponsors. And of course, Campbell Outdoor Cameras is one of our sponsors as well. And we really love having them on board. They provide us with quality equipment. The arrow, the release, the equipment that we got from Campbell's is just outstanding. So why don't we go ahead and go over the bow right now and show you all the specs. The axle axle on the Carnage is 32 inches with a brace height of 7.25 inches. It weighs 4 pounds and produces an astounding speed of 345 feet per second IBO. It is outfitted with the bare skeleton cam, zero tolerance limb pockets, max preload quad limbs, and a new 4x4 roller guard. Alright folks, there you saw all the specs of the bow. Definitely some great benefits for this. The uh, limb pockets and the, the cam, everything together makes for a great shooting bow, nice and fast. But we're gonna go ahead and do the draw test on it like we always do, and uh, we'll see how this bow performs. Comes back, it has a little bit of a, you know, a steep valley, but once you get past the, past the draw, it comes back and it's solid. I mean, it's right there at 29 inches. I'll tell you, the let off's awesome. I could sit here and hold this thing forever. You could almost shoot this bow really instinctively because it just, just lines up perfectly. It's got a huge sight window on it, which makes it awesome. I think that's attributed to the cable roller system set so low on it. All right, let's go ahead and shoot the bow. Wow. I didn't move anywhere. Why don't we do that again and I'm gonna actually zoom in on my hand here. I want you guys to see that bow didn't move anywhere. It was no noise, super fast. I'll, we'll shoot it through the chrono here in a minute, but very fast, very quiet, no hand shock whatsoever. That is awesome. Let's go ahead and we're gonna zoom in on the hand here. I'm gonna show you guys when I shoot this bow exactly the hand shock. We'll do it in slow motion for you as well like we always do. All right, folks, we're going to go ahead and draw it again. And this time I'm going to zoom in on my hand. I want you guys to see the hand shock in here. I'll keep my hand open as much as I can without dropping the bow, of course. So uh, let's go ahead and do it. You guys see that? All it did, fall straight backwards right into my hand. And really, no noise. Definitely awesome. I'm going to have to give the hand shock a 10 because there isn't any. The bow's nice and quiet. No string, you know, suppressor systems, whatever. It's got its own. You don't have to do anything like that. That's just phenomenal. I 
I just want to do that creeper test here on the bow. And uh, I don't think we're going to be disappointed. So let's go ahead. Come forward. Now you have, let's see, about a quarter inch of play there. So it's not bad if you have to bend over. Key thing is when you bend over, you want to bend at the waist, but a lot of people don't. So tell you what, though, you could come forward quite a bit. I like that. That just feels phenomenal. And like I said, I could hold this bow forever. If a big bull elk's coming in, I can follow him through. Huge sight window on it for if you want to have a lot of pins. It's really nice. It doesn't, doesn't do nothing, doesn't torque or anything. Just great. That's phenomenal. Let's shoot it through the chronograph, see what we're getting with that 408 grain victory armor piercing arrow. All right, folks, we're shooting that 408 grain arrow um, from Victory Archery, the VAP, through the chronograph with the bare carnage. So let's go ahead and see. Remember, 29 inches, 70 pounds. Three hundred fifteen feet per second. That's just smoking. All right, everyone, you saw it right there. Three hundred fifteen feet per second with a four hundred eight gram arrow, and uh, that that arrow's just sailing down there. No hand shock whatsoever. You know, in the last few years, I've given bear I think nine point three, nine point six, or whatever the case is on my scale, and you know, there's nothing in this bow that I can find wrong. I mean, everything in it is just phenomenal. No hand shock without a stabilizer. No noise, no anything. The draw cycle is pretty smooth all the way through. Everything's just just smooth. It's it's amazing, and you know bears really come a long way in just the last few years. I mean, I did the Instinct back in like '07, and that was their first brand new type model line of bear coming back in the industry. And now here we are in 2011, and they've just got a phenomenal product here. You know, I'm going to have to give the Carnage a full 10, and you know. I, I say I don't do that often. I gave the Ibex a 10, but I'm telling you what, this this is a great shooting bow. I love the grip. The grip's perfect on it. Uh, no issues whatsoever. I mean, no sh no noise, no hand shock. It's super, super fast. Um, it just really shoots great. And I'll tell you what, you know, you guys might be seeing this here in a, in a few weeks. I'm going to Kansas here hunting turkey, so I'm going to put some footage on the website of, of our hunt. I'm going with my father-in-law. We're going to have a good time. We've got our licenses over there, and uh, we're going to go ahead and shoot them with bows, hopefully. My father will be shooting a, a nice crossbow from Scorpid that we have in, and you guys can look at the review on that here soon. And uh, that's just phenomenal. So I'll tell you what, a full 10 for the Carnage from Bear Archery. It is just phenomenal. I'd like to thank those guys for participating again because, man, they are making some quality products, and I'm really excited to see what they're going to come out with in 2012. But... It's going to be hard to top this. I say that about a lot of companies, but they seem to do it. Those guys are just geniuses. So for Outdoor Product Review, I am Jason Ballas. We're going to see you guys on our next bow review, which will be coming up here shortly.